Alrighty, what's poppin'? In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys the best settings for Kirby and the Forgotten Land on the user emblem. Showcase you guys how to play the game in 4K and also 60 FPS. Now do please keep in mind for you guys to do this, your PC has to be able to at least run 4K game or at least push towards 60 FPS. If you guys if you have a low-end PC that's not too capable of certain Yuzu games and they can't go past 30 FPS. This guy is not for this guide is not for you. But if you have a decent PC or a pretty much strong PC, this is the guide for you. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, first things first, you're gonna go to the emulation um, tab, and then go to configure. Now in general, system, CPU, you can leave everything on default if you like. Now I'm at the point that I feel confident enough that to say that um, Vulcan on the user emulator is pretty decent to use. I'm, I feel pretty confident about this. To say this, this is the fact that I've been testing out a couple games on the Vulcan um, back in on the user emulator, and I say it's pretty good. So I'm pretty confident. So you can use Vulcan or OpenGL, but if you ask me, I prefer to use Vulcan because games run pretty much a little bit better on Vulcan. Now, if you want to play games in um, 4K or even higher, please keep in mind, like I said earlier in the video, your PC has to be pretty good to run this. So if you want to play games in 4X, I mean 4K, just go to the 4X resolution or higher and your game should be able to play 4K games. Now you can try 6X, but I think this is in beta stage, if I'm not mistaken. So even if you have a pretty high PC, you may experience some crashes. So a lot of these things are experimental in beta stages on YouTube user emulator. So give it time, give it a couple months. Sooner than later, you should be able to play a lot of Switch games in 6K, especially if Nintendo is releasing a Switch Pro or a new generation of Switch. So the user emulator can keep up with that. So like I said, when you play games 4K, put it at 4X, but usually resolution really doesn't matter to me. So I like to put it at 2X, the basics standard thing and then you can mess around with the ratios but i i really don't try to mess around with it too much just the fact that the 16 by 9 is pretty good for me now if you're on um when you get to the advanced te um, tab normal is pretty good v-sync and i'm using OpenGL or even vulcan you can just basically disable the v-sync bar to basically make your game push past 30 fps and try to hit that 60 fps mark it's very important for this to basically not be checked. You gotta leave the box basically blank. And after that, you press OK. Then on the left side, I mean the right side, <laughs> you're gonna left click and go to the video control panel. Now when you're on the manage 3D settings, you're gonna go all the way down and then when you see vertical sync, make sure it's off. Don't make, don't make it on, make sure it's off. Oh, I'm trying to pack on for no reason. Let me highlight it real quick. It's pretty frustrating. I'm trying to use this. So you're gonna put it off. And then you're gonna go to program settings. Make sure it's off also. And after that, you just add it, the user emulator, add it to your selected programs, basically apply it. Just wait a little bit. Then you exit out of the NVIDIA control panel. And after that, you can boot up the game and you're basically all set to go. One more thing for you guys to unlock 60 FPS. The way you're supposed to do it is you press Control and U while you're playing the game, or you can press Control and then U second. It's very important for you guys to press that to unlock 60 FPS. If you guys don't do that, you will not obtain 60 FPS on the Yuzu emulator. I repeat, you have to press Control, which is C T R L, and then U while you're playing the game, and you should be able to unlock 60 FPS. Like I said before, if you guys do not press those two important buttons when you're playing the game, 
probably going to max out at 30 FPS. You're not going to even even touch 60 FPS. So please keep in mind, press control, press control, and then you or press them at the same time, and you should unlock 60 FPS on the Yuzu emulator. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And yeah, guys, this is your boy Burgerton. I'll see you guys in the next video. Signing off. Peace out.